This is how we're starting the month, Canada. Here's our official November outlook, and it is going to be a month of changing weather conditions. But the first week, that cold air is really locked up across central eastern Canada, near Hudson Bay especially, and a strong onshore flow develops across the province of British Columbia, bringing us above normal temperatures and precipitation. There's the cold air east of the Rocky Mountains. But when we look into the second week of November, Note the subtle change there. That Pacific air tries to make its way across the Rocky Mountains, hits a roadblock, and that cold, stubborn air is hanging out from Ontario all the way to Newfoundland. That is going to set the stage for perhaps a significant winter storm. It's going to be highly track dependent, but the recipe is there. The ingredients on the table. Western Canada, more ridging through mid-month. That is going to put the brakes, pump the brakes, on that active storm track and to finish off the month, the second half of November looks to be flooded by Pacific air. That polar vortex will be hanging out on the other side of the globe. We'll watch that gradual warming build in from west to east.